Hello students, let's read the problem. And it says, the parent function f of x equals x squared is transformed to obtain the new function g of x equals 3x squared minus 2, which graph represents this transformation, okay? So we know that there was a transformation that happened, right? And they're giving me my parent function. Remember, this is very important for us to know what a parent function is. Now, before I go on to the next one, parent function, I want you to keep in mind that looks like a U and it goes through the origin, okay? That's the parent function, it goes through the origin. So if you want to, we can graph it somehow in one of the answer choices. We can do it here on letter A. So notice how my parent function goes through the origin. And I'm going to make like this so that we can make the connection, right? Now, my new function is given to me in this way. And they want to know what happens here. Well, let's analyze my new function, okay? Let me write it down again here. Let's analyze the A. A is the coefficient, which is right here. Now, in this case, I notice that A is greater than 1. If A is greater than 1, it means that I see a vertical stretch. Okay? And what that means is that my, my new function is going to look kind of thin, kind of narrow. Okay, so we can write down those words over here. So that's the change that you are going to see. Okay, now what is the other change that I see? Well, it has a minus 2. Well, the minus 2 means that it's going to go two units down. Okay, let's write it down. So it means that it goes two units down. Now, that to me is one of the easiest to check. Because think about it. If my parent function is at the origin going two units down, it means that my, my new graph needs to go through y equals negative 2. Is that right? So I don't see that on letter A, right? I don't see that on letter C. I do see that on letter B. And I also see that on letter D. Is that right? Okay. Now, how do I determine then? Because notice how these two B and D, one to me is facing up. We call this one facing up because the openings are upward. This one is facing down or downward. Is that right? So how do I decide what's my answer? Well, there's another thing that you got to keep in mind. If A is positive, right? If A is positive, it's going to be upward. Okay? So what does that mean? Well, then it means that the answer has to be letter D. Very good. Because now notice how my new function kind of looks thin, right? And also it goes through the negative 2 on the Y. Okay? So that's my answer.